is another warning from the watchman, not another judgment. This is going to be today, New York flooding prophecy. Um, I've been spending time and getting all of this information together for you guys. We've got the, the brand new $100 bill. We've got prophetic word. We've got scriptures that are linked together of this event of New York flooding. And then here also, we have been... Uh, or I have been told by God, Yeshua, uh, that if the people of New York will not listen, then paint it, and they will marvel with their questions, okay? So what you're looking at here is the nuke that's going to hit the water, or, or hit, hit this dam right here. Which, this is the dam. If you go and look this up, it's the um, Hoover Dam. <coughs> and it's shaped. They built it, in the structure of it, they built it just like a vagina. Because metaphorically speaking, when this is the Statue of Liberty, underwater, and then here's our golden cup. Okay? So... Once this hits the wall, the wall and poof, breaks it down, once her water breaks, the city will be no more. Okay, it's going to become Atlantis. The modern day Atlantis, they say. Alright, so let's start off by uh, reading some scriptures. And then we'll go over this real quick the, on the, the bill. Um, it says Ezekiel 3.16 verse, or 3.16 to 18. Uh, so, and it came to pass at the end of seven days. That the word of your Lord, or that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest them or thou givest him no warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked ways to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquities, but his blood I will require at thine hand. My job is to warn you guys. So that's what I'm here doing. I'm warning you guys. All right. It says in Revelation 17, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that satteth upon many waters. That right there is the Statue of Liberty. The great whore that satteth upon many waters. Having a golden cup in her hand full of abolishments and filthiness. And when I saw her, I wondered with great ambition. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell, I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and the beast. That right there, the Lord was telling me, you know, golden cup in her, in her hand. Full of abolishments and filthiness. That's the golden cup that I just showed you on my my painting. Um, she also has she's carrying it in her hand in real life. The paint uh, the the Statue of Liberty. Um. So he's saying that he's going to unveil this mystery to me. Okay. Um. Let's say Daniel 
47. Uh, or Daniel 40, or no, Daniel 26. Oh my gosh, Daniel 9, verse 26 through verse 27. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not from him, and the people of the prince shall come. Shall de, uh, th that shall come shall devour or shall destroy the city and and the sanctuary and the end thereof shall be with a flood and the end there shall be with a flood uh, unto the end of the war desolations are determined there's going to be a war that goes on before this flood okay jeremiah 15 verses 8 tells us uh come out of her my people uh so that you do not partake in her plagues um Jeremiah 50, verse 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon, uh, against, uh, against Babylon's roundabout. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, and spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord your God. Telling us to spare no arrows, shoot them. You know? Uh, shout, verse 15, says, Shout against her roundabout. Uh, she hath... She hath given her... Yeah, she hath given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord your God. So her walls will be thrown down. Let's get to on the bill real quick. There's the wall. Representation of the dam. Okay. Inside of the wall. Is the nuke. There is the nuke right there. Okay. What you're looking at right here is the nuke. There's the nuke right there. There's the fire coming out of it. There's the fire around it. Okay. And then it, the tip of it shows right there. This the like I showed you in the painting, that arrow, the, the nuke that hits the wall. There's the wall. Inside is the city. You fold it the other way. You have the image of New York flooding. Okay, right there. Boom. Waves coming in on the city. Okay. Alright. So, once that happens. Alright. Um... Once the, the nuke hits the water, like I've said. Um, Jeremiah 47 verse 2 says, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, waters rise up out of the north and shall be an overflowing flood and shall overflow the land and all that 
there is there and, and all that there is in the city and them that dwell therein then the men shall cry and all of uh, and, and all the inhabitants and tab, inhabitations of the land shall hollow gone wiped out shall hollow Okay. Nehemiah 8. With an overflowing uh with an with an overrun with an overrunning flood, he shall make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemy. What do ye imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end of the foundation and it shall not rise up a second time and while they be folded together as thorns so when that wall and the other side is folded together as thorns And while they, oh yeah, and while they are drunken as drunkards, they shall be devoured. And while they are drunken, they shall be devoured. While they're drunk in the streets and they're having their fun and they're not paying attention, they're going to be swept away by this flood, okay? Now, let's go to my um, prophetic word that I was given real quick. Um, Thus saith the Lord your God, behold, the mouth of your oppressors and your, or the mouth of your enemies has been lifted against you. For thine veils have not yet been lifted from thine, from their blinded eyes until the day of the flood meaning that they're they're not li they're not listening to what i'm saying they're blinded their eyes are still blind until the day cometh of the beast that's what i was going to show you guys of the beast out of the sea cradling both fire and smoke and the smoke and the fire gave birth or and the fire and the smoke gave birth to four devouring winds with water as high as the walls of Jerusalem shall cover um, shall cover the city by the sea and great shall be the destruction of that city and it will be no more so what we have here it says until the day cometh of the beast out of the sea cradling fire and smoke and there's the nuke and it's cradling all the fire and all of the smoke and then it will be no more okay now the last one uh, of the scriptures says uh, it's Mark 13 verse Two. And it says, and Jesus answering, uh, and Jesus answering unto him, seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Shall not be thrown down. There won't be one left untouched. All of it. Gone. Um. So there it is, guys. Warning from the Watchmen. Now, I said, uh, Revelation 
17. The whore that setteth upon many waters, having a golden cup in her hand. Um, and I saw the mystery. Um, therefore shall be with a flood until the day of the war. Or until the day of the end of war, destruction or de desolations shall be, uh, or desolations are determined. <coughs> it's all right there. It's all written. It's all like this is serious, guys. It's not a joke. It's not some ha ha conspiracy. I've showed you the bill. I've showed you both sides. I've showed you the nuke. I've showed you New York flooding. I've showed you that you're being warned because the you know the blue strip of bells it moves ding 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 you you're being warned people the, the time to get serious you know <clears throat> or not serious time to get for real <coughs> and that's that guys this is a warning from the watchman not another judgment um i love you all uh, and may yeshua bless you and watch over you